Someone once told me that the difference between track and other sports was wanting to run versus being made to run. I used to want to run, love to run. It transformed into a sick pleasure, torture, a strange addiction, self-inflicted pain that will someday kill me. I need to, I have to. I can't survive without it. Perfection is so far away, yet not as far as it was yesterday. Tomorrow, I'll be one step closer. But closer to what? Do I train hard to win, or not to lose? Wins used to be the result of determination and passion. Now they are a result of being scared of losing. Somewhere out there, one of them is working harder than me. And when I meet them in head-to-head -head competition, they'll beat me. So I continue to work harder and harder. So my vision blurs and my heart throbs. Until I crouch over from exhaustion, almost too weak to stand. I no longer see the track or the person ahead of me. It's all become blue, violet, red, phasing in and out like a drug-induced state, a natural but dangerous high. I am my own worst enemy, my biggest critic. Nothing has ever been. Not even close to being good enough. Not good enough for me, and definitely not good enough for them. I hear them. Yelling. They think they own me. They think they control me. Maybe they do. I'm a tour card so I can do my job. So they'll win. I must score points to make them happy. What's the effort that costs? It's the end of it. I'm nothing more than a pawn, a number, a puppet, forming fear, and a nameless, faceless athlete belonging to someone else. I wear their colors. That is what others recognize and judge me by. It's a new identity. I am no longer a new. I'm their workhorse, their slave. Headlines, medals, excitement, respect, honor, disappointment, mockery, failure, humiliation, dedication, obligation. I can't get away. There's no escape. This burns deep beside me. Eating away at my mind and body. At my life and relationships. But I can't stop. I'll never give up. I can't quit. I'll die trying before I quit. Why?